Today, we have a recipe for chicken chow mein Cantonese style. This dish is easy to make and easy to impress your family and friends. So these are the uh, farkane noodles, which are the thin noodles which you can use for soups and stir fry. So I've got some water going right now. I'm going to put a tablespoon of oil into the water. I'll put a teaspoon of salt in there. So this helps the noodles from sticking together. So I'm going to put a couple handfuls in here. That should be enough for like say four quarters. This brand of noodles only takes five minutes to cook, but be sure to check the instructions. So just rinse the noodles in cold water, just to get rid of some of the starches and to stop the cooking of the noodles. For this recipe, we're using Shanghai bok choy, but you can use any kind of Chinese vegetable. So first cut off the bottom, and then slice the uh, Shanghai bok choy lengthwise. Then give the veggies a quick rinse in cold water. Bring a pot of water to a boil. Then put the Shanghai bok choy in the water for 30 to 45 seconds. If you want the uh, bok choy to be more tender, just cook it a little bit longer. Add a tablespoon of cooking oil, such as peanut oil, just to shine up the, uh, the veggies. Now just set aside your veggies while you cook your noodles. I like to use a frying pan rather than a wok for cooking the noodles because there's more surface. So preheat the pan at medium to medium high. Add two tablespoons of cooking oil, such as peanut oil. So for these noodles, I just like to uh, fry them and then flip them over a few times. And then uh, if you want to separate the noodles, just use a pair of chopsticks or a fork just to separate the noodles. I preheat my wok at medium high to high heat. Add three tablespoons of cooking oil. I have about eight ounces of chicken here. So check out my video on how to debone the chicken breast and marinate chicken. So once you put the chicken into the wok, put a tablespoon of chopped ginger Give the chicken a quick stir fry. When you cook the chicken at uh, higher heat, you will sear the chicken, lock in the juices. Add a little extra cooking oil if you need to. So once you cook the chicken about halfway through, add some sliced onion for aromatic flavor. Now we're going to add three quarter cups to a cup of chicken broth, or you can use uh, water. Just add a teaspoon of chicken soup base to bring in added flavor. Now we're going to add two to three tablespoons of soy sauce. This is the regular light soy sauce. And then I'm going to add my favorite sauce, the uh, Chinese oyster sauce. So put about two to three tablespoons of Chinese oyster flavor sauce. And if you have some Shaoxing cooking wine, add two to three tablespoons of the Shaoxing cooking wine. To thicken the sauce, mix one tablespoon of cornstarch in a third of a cup of water. And then just uh, stir the, uh, the slurry 
to thicken the sauce. There you have it. Chicken chow mein, Cantonese style. Compared to a Chinese restaurant, you get twice the noodles, twice the chicken, twice the veggies, for half the price. Enjoy. Now you can order the products and ingredients that I use in my cooking videos. Just click the link below in the description for the Chinese cooking accessory guide. You can order everything online, including the wok that I use and some of the equipment that I use. Thanks for checking out my video. Please like and subscribe. Any comments are always welcome. Take care and stay safe. Mm -hmm.